the oldest newspaper in the Lone Star State is right here in East Texas. And on February 27th, they'll be publishing their 173rd edition. That's incredible. Crazy. They're great people, too. KDK's Tori Bean attended a celebration today and telling us now why the paper is so important to the people of Cherokee County. Neil, Sarah, the Cherokee Herald in Rust celebrated new owners and 172 years with a ribbon cutting. One, two, three. Cut. John and Penny Hawkins officially took over the paper in January. We took over the paper on January the 1st from uh, the previous out-of-state owners. We are thrilled to be able to bring it back to Texas as Texas owned. The Hawkins are glad they're able to continue the paper in a world where print is going extinct. The paper publishes a weekly newspaper for Cherokee County. For so long as a community newspaper, but it was 172 years, going on 173. It's so important to the history of this county, but just as important to the history of Texas. We are the oldest newspaper in Texas. That's just a phenomenal legacy to have to continue and we're proud to do it. The Cherokee and Herald started in 1850 and has been able to continue printing for 172 years. On February 27th, they will be starting their 173rd edition, making them the longest running newspaper in the state of Texas. Just thought when they came together for the death of Monte Montfrey there in Alto, I just think that it shows that they support this community. The Cherokee County community showed up to show their support by packing the room. It's very helpful if someone who knows the community owns the paper and is promoting the community as a whole. State Senator Robert Nichols gave the Hawkins a flag that has flown over the state capitol. And even former President Jimmy Carter extended his congratulations. The event was the first time Jacksonville and Brush Chamber of Commerce has come together for an event, and everyone hopes the paper will continue for years to come. In studio, Tori Bean, KTK News.